A lot of times people ask me what kind of effects do I use when I'm tracking vocals. I just keep it really simple. As you listen to the demo, his voice pretty much has a very... Even though it sounds really thin, it doesn't sound like he used a great mic, it still has brightness to it, and it's and that brightness adds to the character of the record. What I use, my go-to mic microphone is either the Sony C800 or the Elam 251. With this particular record, I wanted to use the 251 because it has uh, warmth to it, and I really wanted to catch all these guys are amazing singers and I really want to catch all the warmth of their vocals and have them sound really rich. So for me, that mic has a lot of warmth. I need to bring out the high end and I really need it to be really up front. So this is the first verse sounds like without the effect. So EQ wise, I just use the regular Renaissance EQ. I'm usually pushing I'm not very technical. I always say the red, which I think is like 10K or whatever. I bring the purple up, the little mid, and the blue up just a little bit. I do the exact same thing on every singer because I always want to just, all I need is just high end. I like to keep it simple. I'm not a really technical person. I don't know all the, the technical terminology, but for me, it works because I'm not going on tech. I'm going on emotion. So a lot of times people get tripped up on thinking that they need to understand the frequencies and all that kind of stuff. People that listen to records, um, especially kids that listen to records, they have no idea what we're talking about when we go to frequencies. But they, one thing that they are experts at is feeling. So that's what I always connect with. And believe it or not, a lot of times I'm not even paying attention to the lyrics. I'm paying attention, attention to the melody. And if the emotion of that melody is fitting the time frame of the record. So like for me, a record is three minutes, 52 seconds. At one minute, that record for me is supposed to feel a certain way. So that directs what I'm actually adding to it. Am I adding too much at this particular time in the record or am I not adding enough? So for me, I it's all about feeling. So I wanna play this for you without any of the EQ on it. She said I really miss the old you. The found someone better. I really miss the old me. Yeah. Maybe he was better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So now this is with my EQ. So I use the Renaissance EQ. Put the the Renaissance uh, compressor on it, compressing it just a little bit to kind of keep the peaks out. And then I'll put the Rvox on there to push it out a little bit because I want it to stand out in front of the track. When I'm cutting this. He's actually singing to this. So what I'm doing is creating it in his headphone to sound like a, a finished product, like a mix. Actually, let me play it for you first without reverb and delay. She said I really miss the old you. Now it's punch. It's punching out. They found someone better. You feel that urgency on it? I really miss the old me. Yeah. And also you can hear, Maybe unfortunately, he you can hear some crossfades. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now that I have it sounding punchy, nice and crisp in his headphones, crisp in here to me, it's sitting on top of the track, it's helping me to dictate the, the right pocket and everything. Now I go in and now I create the dreamscape, the imaging of it. So what I always use, it's the same thing all the time, the R-verb, so I use the medium hall, I always use that. Then I always use the H delay, quarter note, ping pong, and then on this particular one, I'm using just the, uh, the simple, the basic doubler, just to kind of spread his voice out just a little bit. So let me play it for you with, with the effects on it. She said I really miss the old you. They found someone better. Just creating a nice image. Really miss the old me. Maybe he was better. Those are my go-to effects, and it keeps it really, really simple. I don't have anything routed. I don't have any of my effects or delays routed through a thousand aux. Sometimes I get sessions from different people, and I know that this drives mix engineers crazy. My goal is to make sure that I'm handing off an amazing session 
simplified so that when it, the mix engineer gets it, he doesn't have to go through, clean up crossfades, turn down S's. He doesn't have to figure out how I have everything routed. This session is very simple. I have three effects that are bust, the reverb, delay, and chorus. That's it. Those are the only three things on, on it. So now when I send this to the mix engineer, he has room to do his job and create something even more special with what we've given him.